Hi guys, welcome back to Crown and Faith. My name is Nia Cerise Conte and I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, join the journey, join the family. I've got a question and the question that I have to ask you is when was the last time that you went into the presence of the Lord and you said to him, Lord, I want to know your thoughts today. I want to know what's on your mind. I ask you this question because oftentimes we are so quick to go into the presence of the Lord and to just begin spewing words. And I believe that God is asking and looking in fact for patient lovers who will come into the secret place, not to just sprout some words and leave, but to come in and to listen. God is looking for people who will listen. See, we need to be hasty to position our hearts rather than to just speak and sprout whatever we wanna say. If we ourselves, do not position our hearts, then that means that the words that we are saying to Christ Jesus do not have the heart behind them. And therefore, what we're saying is actually just a vain repetition. Simple as, if we come into the presence of the Lord, we begin to say things, but our hearts are far from him, it's a vain repetition. And I remember God teaching me this and me understanding that the position of my heart is so important when I come into prayer. When we come so quickly and hasty with our words and what we have to say, a lot of the times we can put our flesh at the forefront. However, when we're quick to listen, I believe that that's when we exalt the things of the spirit because listening carries humility. For somebody to sit and listen, they have to have patience. They have to be able to endure with long suffering. They have to be able to wait. Love is patient. God is looking for people who want to come into his presence and will actually silence themselves. Be still and just know that he is God. When last did you behold him? When last did you behold the Father? When last did you go into the secret place and just behold him? Just know that's my Father. That, that's, there he is. I think about some of the relationships in my life. There's some relationships where all you have to do is be in their company. You don't have to say specific words. You don't, you don't have to keep on pushing and pushing and pushing and struggling to think of what to say. You can just enjoy that silence and enjoy one another's company. You can enjoy one another's presence and that is one of the most beautiful, intimate moments that you can share with a human being. When you know that you're spending quality time with that person by just sitting with them and enjoying each other's company. And I feel like God wants us to do that sometimes. He enjoys speaking to us, but sometimes he just wants us to come. He wants us to behold him. He wants us to wait upon him. When last have you gone into the secret place and just sat still? And rather than saying, I magnify you, Lord, I magnify you, I magnify you, you have said that by sitting before him and meditating on him and in your heart just placing him higher than your emotions, higher than the distractions of life, higher than your education, your work, your friends, everything that's trying to come in and distract you, you've just magnified him by sitting with him in his presence and putting him above all of the clutter. David went into the secret place and David said, how sweet are thy words unto my taste? Oh, sweeter than honey in my mouth. In Psalm 119 verse 103. He wrote an entire psalm about how much he loved the word of the Lord, how much he loved his commandments, how much he loved the sweet words of the Lord, that they were sweeter than honey. I think of all of the times that we go into the secret place and we're going there to fill God's ears with everything that we want to say, but we are not willing to hear the sweetness of what God wants to say to us. There are some people watching this, we have been so programmed into believing that our structure of our secret place must look like something, must look like the way that we want it. God wants to speak to some of us, but we're so rigid in our routine that we can't even allow for him to come in 
and to renew our minds, refresh our hearts and restore us. God wants us to come into his presence and to rest. For a lot of us, we come into the presence of the Lord and we leave even more burdened than we went in. Let's just sit before him. Let's just love him. Let's just, let's just tell him how beautiful he is. Let's just be silent. Let's just be silent. Let's just quiet our spirit and know him. Let's just get to know him in the silent, in the quiet times, in the quiet. He wants it to be a communion. He wants it to be a communion. He wants you to experience his voice that is like honey. He wants you to know him. And I've come here to tell you today that God wants us to come into his presence. And for us to say, God, I want to say something to you today. I want to say something. And it doesn't have to be with a multitude of words. But it's with the abundance that's in my heart right now as I position it before you. As I wait upon you. I'm saying so much more. I'm saying so much more than I ever could even do with words. And I'm not speaking against words. I'm not saying that words are wrong that you shouldn't speak to the father but what i'm trying to explain to you is you coming into god's presence and you having a heart to just hear from him a heart to just soak in him to know him to be patient enough to wait on him you are saying so much to him there was a song that i was listening to and it said i'm not in a hurry when it comes to your presence and it continues and it said that I will rest in your nearness. I feel like sometimes we're in such a hurry to do our quiet time rather than to be in it. The Bible says that we should seek him first. A lot of us don't want to tarry in the secret place to seek him. We don't want to wait to hear what he has to say. We don't wanna seek counsel for him because we're not prepared to pay the price of waiting, crucifying our flesh, and sitting, waiting to hear from the Lord. Because we live in a society full of distractions, full of the flesh immediately getting its satisfaction, getting its demands met, we don't want to go to the effort of waiting. The same God had nails placed through his hands, went through the traumatic experience, probably hours of the lead up to his death, which was so much. We ourselves don't even want to put in the effort to sit down for a few minutes just to hear what the Lord who died for us has to say to us. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for those who are listening to this video right now. Lord, I pray that we would come hasty to hear rather than being speedy to speak. I pray, Lord, that you would cultivate A desire within us to sit and soak in your presence rather than struggling Lord God we would soak in your presence father I pray that we would know you Jesus I pray that we would learn to hear your voice I pray that your sheep, Father, would sit in your presence and enjoy you. I'm not in a hurry when it comes to your presence.
when it comes to your spirit, when it comes to your glory. 